Wolves have always captured our imagination, from fairy tales to documentaries. But what if I told you that a real-life dire wolf, yes, like the ones from the Ice Age, has just been brought back, in a lab? Today we're breaking down the key differences between this resurrected dire wolf and the modern gray wolf. Spoiler alert, they're not just big cousins. These animals are separated by tens of thousands of years and some serious evolutionary twists. If you're into animals, evolution, and science that sounds like science fiction, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We've got wild facts coming your way every week. First, let's get the basics down. The gray wolf, Canis lupus, is the largest wild member of the dog family alive today. It's smart, social, and widespread across North America, Europe, and Asia. Now the dire wolf, Enosian dyrus, was a top predator in North America during the Ice Age. Think giant wolves hunting mammoths, bison, even horses. But here's the catch. Despite the name and appearance, dire wolves weren't just bigger gray wolves. Let's talk size. Dire wolves were about 25% heavier than gray wolves. They had broader skulls, shorter legs, and more powerful jaws, better for crushing bone. Gray wolves are more agile and built for endurance. They can cover vast distances while hunting, thanks to leaner bodies and longer legs. The dire wolf? More of a brute force predator designed to take down massive Ice Age prey. For decades, scientists thought dire wolves were closely related to gray wolves, but recent genetic studies flipped that idea on its head. DNA pulled from dire wolf fossils showed that they're actually part of a totally separate lineage. So different, in fact, they couldn't even interbreed with gray wolves. They split from the ancestors of gray wolves over 5 million years ago. That's a bigger gap than between humans and chimpanzees. So what's this about a lab-created dire wolf? Well, scientists recently used ancient DNA and gene editing technology to recreate aspects of the dire wolf's genome. By modifying domestic dog embryos, they've managed to produce a living animal with some dire wolf traits, most likely in size, skull shape, and maybe even behavior. But it's important to note, this isn't a perfect clone. It's more like a dire wolf-inspired hybrid, created using genetic blueprints and modern biotech. Still, it's the closest we've come to reviving an extinct predator. So why bring back a dire wolf? Scientists say it helps us understand extinction, evolution, and how species adapt, or, you know, fail to, in changing environments. It also gives us a glimpse at the future of conservation, where de-extinction might help restore balance to damaged ecosystems. Of course, it also raises big questions about ethics, ecosystems, and what we really mean when we say, bring something back. So there you have it, the ancient dire wolf and the modern gray wolf, two predators separated by millions of years, brought together by science and curiosity. Would you want to see dire wolves roaming the wild again? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss another wild animal fact. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.